Do you know why Nigerian politicians will not stop stealing our money? I mean, let me use their English. Will not stop embezzling our money. Let me explain. Let me give you a little breakdown of a normal lifestyle of Nigerian politician. Let's start from a minister. You know how many cars they use, their convoy, how many domestic staff they have. They have house in Abuja, they have in their hometown, they have in the main city like Lagos, and some of them also have abroad. And all those houses they have, they have domestic staffs in all those houses. They have cook, they have gardeners, they have gate man, they have drivers in all their cars. And when you ask how much is their basic salary? Let's take House of Rev for example. House of Rev basic salary is 900 and something thousand naira, not specifically because they've not made it public. So if somebody is receiving 900,000 naira or let's just say 1 million naira and how many staff do they have? How many cars do they have? That their salary cannot even fund their lifestyle for a month. And you also need to understand that some of our Nigerian politicians, I mean some, some of them do not have any other source of income except politics. Some of them do not have any other business except politics and that is why they are ready to kill and die for rates. So when somebody is receiving something less than 2 million naira a month and this lifestyle is like 25 million naira a month, what do they resort to? They resort to embezzlement. And that is one of the reasons why corruption or embezzlement or stealing public funds will never go away because the Nigerian politicians has embraced the kind of lifestyle that is almost impossible to maintain without stealing. Average Nigerian politician, even a local government chairman, drive an SUV, I mean a Prado Jeep, nothing less than 100 million naira, I mean up to 200 million naira. And how much is his salary to be able to buy that kind of car? One, two, with healers, with escorts, with a lot of domestic staff. So when you see their lifestyle, you know that this one in salary, no fee keep them in salary. See, I can bet it and, and I can say it allegedly. No Nigerian politicians live on their salary because their salary cannot even power their lifestyle for up to a month. A month. So the question is, where do they get the extra money to maintain that lavish lifestyle? They live. And when you ask why do they live that kind of life, it still boils down to the people. We, the people, are still the ones that empower them to live that kind of lifestyle. Because you believe that when somebody is holding that kind of position, you know, in quote, they should be able to spend that kind of money. So we expect a lot from then and because they still want to lift the standard we've placed them they end up stealing more money to lift the standard we've placed them on like if you look at other developed countries that will copy their kind of governance the way their politicians live they live like normal civil servants they ride their bicycle drive their own cars but here in nigeria politicians live like king why the citizens are like slaves but we have placed them so high that they even have more value than a university lecturer they even have more value than professors they even have more value than our civil servants who have earned worked so hard to be able to work for the country. So we place somebody who worked for only six years or four years higher than every other person that within that four years he can embezzle or amass so much wealth that will pass what somebody who worked for 40 years has never gotten. Anyway, in Nigeria, it is said that who corruption favor, they call and grace. When they elect your own brother, that's when you stop talking. They call it table manner. That's why you see some activists, they talk, 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 talk. The day they give them appointment, they stop talking. It is called table manner. So my question to you now, what is the solution? What do you think we can do to be able to let them realize that they are there to serve and not us serving them? Tell me in the comment section. But before you do that, do not forget to. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.